Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Royal Caribbean cruise experts. And today, I'm on board the beautiful Navigator of the Seas, sailing from Los Angeles. Now we're gonna take you through this stateroom, and it's one of my favorites here on board for families. It's an ultra spacious ocean view, and it can hold up to six passengers. Now I'll go over all the details here in just a minute, but keep in mind when you're ready to book this room or any room or suite with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, or Silver Sea, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com. You can take advantage of the interactive deck plans to pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now let's tour the room. Now we're at the very front of the ship and it's a really nice large space. Now one of the limitations of cruising oftentimes is finding rooms for more than four or five passengers. So if you have a larger family or you're traveling with two families together, it can be tough to find a room. This is one that may fit the mold for you. Now, as soon as you walk in the door, you've got a couple of hooks for storage there. And right across, you're gonna find the bunk room. Now there's a curtain that pulls shut, so you get a little bit of extra privacy here. And you're gonna have two beds. Now my daughter loves this configuration. It's like her own per personal cave, if you will. Um, you've got beds up and down here. You've got a reading lamp on the far side there. A Little bit of room for storage at the end of the beds. And then you're also gonna find the first of the closets. So you've got storage space across for hanging storage. You got more storage space here and up above and down below and you can even tuck some things underneath the bed as well. Now directly across you're going to find the bathroom. Now this is the same bathroom you're going to find in the ocean views and interiors while you're here on board. Now one of the things I will say is if you upgrade to a two bedroom grand or one of those suite configurations you're going to get multiple bathrooms which makes a big difference but once again having a room for more than four is really nice. You've got the toilet tucked in the corner here, vanity here. You've got storage tucked behind the mirror. And then directly across, you're gonna find the shower. Now I'm a really big guy, I'm six foot six. I actually can fit in here. I love that they have a shower door instead of a shower curtain, it does bow out so I can fit. You're gonna have an adjustable shower head up and down, storage here and there for your amenities. Now as we continue into the space, you've got a floor to ceiling mirror here where you can get ready before you head on out and you're gonna find another set of storage. So you've got hanging storage across. This will pull down for more storage as well. Now, if you're traveling with six, that's gonna make a big difference. We'll take you to the other closet in a second. Now here you're gonna find your couch that, double, that will double as a bed. So the bottom part would slide out. You'd had sleeping for two there. So keeping track, you're gonna have two on the main bed, two here, two in the bunk room there. And then as we continue along, I did wanna point out that you have a curtain that'll pull all the way across. So it's really nice. You actually have separation for each individual sleeping space. Now I know it's not a complete door. Once again, you can upgrade to one of the larger suites if that's your preference, but this is a really nice configuration. You've got an ottoman here where you can sit and get ready also utilized as a writing desk. You've got your flat panel TV. It can angle towards the bed or towards the couch. Mini fridge underneath, storage up above, and then in here you're gonna find your safe, perfect size for passport and wallets. You're gonna have your writing desk here that doubles as a vanity. You can see you have lights on either side. You also have storage tucked just behind the mirrors here. You're gonna have drawers up and down where you'll find your hair dryer, and then you'll have two US plugs and a European plug here. These are the primary storage or primary plugs here for charging, but keep in mind next to the bed, you actually have a phone that has a USB charger built in as well. Now I always bring an extra adapter or converter to use the Euro plug so I can take advantage of all the plugs in the space. You can see the bed here is put together in what they call their Royal King configuration. It can split apart into two twins and you've got quite a bit of storage underneath for luggage. You've got a nightstand on either side with a drawer where you can tuck things away, I like that. And then you also have a lamp and a directional reading light so you can read in bed without disrupting your partner. Now directly across from the bed, you're gonna find more storage here. So you've got hanging storage all the way across, shelves up and down. Those will pull down for two more sets of hanging storage and then a little bit up above as well. You've got a reading chair tucked here in the corner with an ottoman and you're gonna have two forward facing windows. Now keep in mind, this is an ocean view. If you're a balcony person, this may not work for you. There's lots of different options here on this ship. And then of course you can check out all the other ships from Royal Caribbean on our channel as well. Now, when you're ready to book your next room or suite with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity or Silver Sea, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com. You can take advantage of the interactive deck plans to pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value.